Shrek is one of the most beloved animated films of the 21st century, and by the looks of it, a lot of you agree. But there are some who brought nothing but negativity to their Letterboxd reviews, so let's see what they're whining about. I don't really know what's going on with this review, but from the sounds of it, they might be recounting the plotline to Sicario. I hate Shrek. So nuanced. So very nuanced. I do appreciate the cryptic nature of this review. We start off with a frowny face, and then there's an emoji for something that looks like one of those things that you find on Easter Island. If a producer for Ancient Aliens ever finds this review, we're in for another three seasons. Easy. Mr. Malone. Why? Who the fuck is Mr. Malone? After checking the Shrek Wikipedia, there is no mention of anyone named Malone, so I don't know what this means. This movie is a red flag. If you like it, stay away from me. Reviews like these are a red flag, and if you make them, stay away from me. Why does this movie have, like, the ugliest character designs ever put to screen? I will eternally detest this freaking abomination of a movie. Sorry, not sorry. Fight me. And while I'm not going to fight you, I would like to remind you that this movie came out in 2001 when fully CGI movies were not not exactly common. This is a weird review. He basically spends the first paragraph just talking about how much he hates the movie and fuck you Shrek. But then at the very end, he says, if you ever need motivation to get up off the couch and be productive, then this movie will help you get there. And I don't understand that at all. Are you suggesting that someone who loves this movie enough to rewatch it will suddenly start watching it and be like, oh, now I have to go do other things because the movie that I love is on TV? That doesn't make any sense. Everything reminds me of her. Who hurt you? I fucking hate this movie. And then they throw a bunch of angry face emojis on the back end. I wonder if this was the future that Siskel and Ebert imagined. Until I saw this, I didn't know animated film could be artless. This review has some serious Aladdin was the first animated film I ever saw energy. No. All right. Sorry to say, but I fucking hate Shrek. So fucking stupid. Why do people feel the need to apologize in moments like this? Just be angry. Shrek terrifies me, but I like Gingy. Flattery will get you absolutely nowhere. Disgusting. It's from reviewers like this where I want to know exactly what part of the movie made them like probably almost throw up. Those are the details that I really want. This movie probably inspired Alexis Ohanian to found Reddit. Hope you're happy. This feels like a reference that I don't understand. So if you do understand, please let me know in the comments. I got beef with Smash Mouth. Fuck them. And this movie was never good. Some ruined my life. If a 90 minute animated film can ruin your life, I guarantee your shit was already on stilts. Lame jokes, lame melodrama, lame story, lame characters, lame character designs, lame celebrity guest voices, lame music, lame pop culture references. I'm not going to critique this review, I'm just going to point you towards a fucking thesaurus. Let's have Shreks. I'm debating making a sexy comment or just wondering out loud if you thought that this should have been the name for the Shrek tie-in serial. This had to be my first review. Nope, it definitely did not. I hate this movie, I don't think I will ever hate a movie more. I'm sorry, that's my naked truth. With the way this person says naked truth, you think they were quoting Samson in Act 1, Scene 1 of Romeo and Juliet. My naked is out. However, their lack of punctuation says otherwise. Donkey says ass, so I had to turn it off. I can't believe parents actually let their 10 year olds use the internet. <laughs> hmm, I don't really get the hype. One star for Donkey, he is lit, and another for the accurate soundtrack. Oh, so you gave it two stars instead of the half star that you actually gave it. How very not confusing of you. I seriously don't know why people like this, lol. We're all just Smash Mouth fans. Every time Shrek came on screen, I threw up. I was literally chundering almost the whole movie. It scarred me so much, every time I watch Shrek now, I get nauseous. For one thing, you just had food poisoning. But for another, is chundering actually a word? Oh my god, chundering is an actual word. This is the best thing I've heard all day. Every time I watch this movie, the heavens align and the stars start raining down onto the earth in a flood of blazing, burning light, and it is magnificent. You know, I guess if you squint hard enough, Shrek could look like one of the four horsemen of the apocalypse. My friend gave this movie five stars. It wasn't that bad. Bad, but I'm giving it a half star to even it out. When it comes to Letterboxd reviews, we can always find the true heroes. Someone told me I look like Shrek, I'm not even green. <laughs> I should certainly fucking hope not. Fiona is hot. Did you just give it a half star by mistake? Where were the 100 plus poop jokes? Have you tried looking in your toilet? Shrek gets discriminated against because he's green. That's racist. And today's no shit Sherlock award goes to Child Tear Movie. What an appropriate review for a film that was made for children. This person just says I hate it over and over and over again. And it's too bad because if they had said I hate it one more time, I would have actually believed them. Other people can criticize Shrek's dismal mediocrity, jokes that would even make pensioners cringe and racialized leading roles. But this golden onion was a con 2021 alongside Mulholland Drive. You know that movie studios can just pay for movies to go to con and screen out of competition, right? The animation was bad for its time and only ages poorly. Wait, what other animated films came out in 2001? Oh, yeah. Someone please erase this movie forever. If only we had someone around who could hack the internet. I'm gonna need an unlimited supply of xenotapes and hot pockets. You look like the type of person who wants to see more hot takes directed at DreamWorks films. Good thing I've got a video for Puss in Boots 2 that does exactly that. It's right there.